All right, guys, so welcome back to what I want to consider part two of our Remnant from the Ashes uh, gameplay here. Uh, so basically, you do a little bit of walking around for the questing, and I felt like it was kind of boring, so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of speed things up here, and I'll explain some stuff. So um, basically, there are separate areas, and someone just joined the game, uh, where you can upgrade your stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and actually upgrade my gear, and uh, let's go ahead and let's see your think? wares. I want to show you guys, uh, you can upgrade your weapons, and I'm going to go ahead and just do that real quick. I'm um, just going to increase the flat damage, as you guys can see over here. This one can also be increased, but this is a uh, much better integer, so let's go ahead and just equip, uh, upgrade this. And this will cost us iron here. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it. Let's just go ahead and slam all the upgrade points in here. And let's go under armor, and uh, let's go ahead and upgrade some of the armor here. I wonder if it's going to change the look of it also. Ooh, that's that's going to cost a lot. And it's giving us how much more? Four more? The, this is giving us a decent amount, too. Let's upgrade. Uh, actually, be safe out am there. I actually equipping that? Because sometimes you have. Okay, I just want to do the uh, trench coat. Alright, so we'll go ahead and. Uh, once more. Ah, let's and also, you can equip your. Um, oh, we can, we can buy items. Merchants buy and sell. Okay. And sell stuff for scrap. Alright, we have a, a coach gun. Which, I don't know if we can equip as a secondary. Okay. Okay, so you can get different looking armor too. But I, I'm assuming this this doesn't have like any special ability other than it gives you some resistance to uh, different elements, which is uh, something we might see. But let's go ahead and uh, go to uh, her. Yeah. And this is where we can craft um, things on a weapon. So this one shoots a purchase, this one's a rattle weed upon impact uh, with health and draws aggro on all enemies. That's pretty cool. Let's go and, go ahead and craft that. And then, ooh, let's, what's this hot shot? Imbues animation with fire, care, increasing friend. damage, creates a healing pool. Okay, I definitely want this. Okay. You're done here. So we're going to go ahead and go to our... Items, weapon mods. Okay. So I want to change this mod to the heal. And I want to put this mod on this one. Okay, there we go. And so now we happen to have uh, abilities that are attached to the weapon, which is basically what um, was shown off last time. This guy's just getting us free scrap. Let's go. All right. So let's go ahead and show you guys uh, like the actual content of this game because, like I said, it was more just talking to other people walking from point A to point B. Um, and I just didn't feel like it was necessary to show you guys. Um, I played it last night uh, and I was just like, wow, that, I feel like the game got so much better. All right, so let's go ahead and travel. Oh, he's, he's selecting the destination. Okay. So he's going to go ahead and select uh, where we're going. Uh, but overall, I, I don't really know if uh, the game's story is going to be skipped, just as a heads up, because he might be further along than I am, although I technically created the game, and he gets to select the areas that we go to. But uh, we'll see. I, I do know the very first area. Um, unfortunately, though, the game did uh, did crash on me. I'm just going to make sure. Okay. I'd, I'd steam open up over there, just in case I need to reopen it up. Okay, so we have to find the subway entrance, uh, which is our request. Can we actually attack this? What is this? Maybe can we go open? Incoherent tree language. Is it this way? I mean, it looks like we can maybe access this later. Is this like waiting for all players? Uh, okay. Okay, I'm sure if I, I shoot, he'll come over here. Okay, Is he gonna come? Oh, we got a new item. We didn't even need to pick up the item. It just gives it to us. All right, what does this do? I increase experience by what? Fifteen percent? Nice. Oh. Is that new? Dodged it. There we go. Yeah, where did this guy go? Did he just go to a completely different area? Alright, I guess if he's going over here and he's fighting stuff, let's just go with him. Um, technically, I think he's going towards the objective. So, 
Um, what happened to me was the game actually crashed on me uh, right when I completed the area, and it kind of scuffed the entire uh, game because the game just clo like the .exe just closed. And basically, we went into an area, and then we fought like this uh, guy with a crossbow, uh, kind of as a, a boss. But I'm not sure if this game is going to be a game where like we need part one, two, three, four anyway. So I'm just gonna upload this as like a kind of a continuation of playing the game. But uh, there's a lot of death experiences, that's for sure. Um, there's like a totem, and if you destroyed it, oh, that actually hit me. Um, if you uh, attack it. Uh, an enemy will spawn in. Actually, I think our weapon might have changed its looks. Because I know that the pistol, when I equipped that uh, mod, it did change its looks. Okay, he's going this way. I'm going to stick with my teammate because um, in this game, when you get knocked, uh, you can uh, revive your, your own uh, fellow comrades. Alright. But I'm glad that we have this healing mod because it makes things so much easier. Now, with all those weapon upgrades, unfortunately, we still have to get a headshot to eliminate these, uh, like, what I want to call, like, basic enemies. I love how fast she reloads, like, the lever rifle, compared to Ash, if any of you guys have played, uh, Overwatch, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It takes way too long to reload that thing. Uh... But I want to see what that new uh, those abilities do, and that's something that I haven't shown off in, in the gameplay yet. And I'll definitely show that once we build it up, because there's a little circle around um, the little flower thing. And uh, once that builds up all the way, you can use your abilities. What's that? An oil skin tonic? So what is this? It removes infected and increases root resistance. Okay. So you can get uh, affected by like status ailments in this game. So bleeding, uh, you're just gonna take some damage. Um, there's one where you get infected by root and what happens is your character will randomly cough and it interrupts what you're doing, which I think is so cool. Cause a lot of games when it's like some type of status, it's usually just like, oh, you lose health. Can I open up this by the way? No, I can't. Okay. We got blood war? I think it's just a po potion, right? Regenerate heal, okay. I wonder if we can go up here. If there is anything that looks like that's actually blocking us off. Okay. So he's starting to travel, which it requires all the players, which I think is kind of uh, something that hopefully will be patched out, like as long as three out of the four are players, or I'm not sure how many players you can have in one instance here. But I think that that should be changed. That would be like a quality of life thing, because one guy is like AFK, he gets stuck. I don't know what to do. Like, what do you actually do? Because there's no like form of communication. Uh, and you do hit checkpoints. Another thing I want to show you is this um, trait tree. Let's go ahead and just might as well hit the checkpoint. So what that checkpoint does is it refills your ammo, and it also will um, refill your dragon hearts, which is how you heal the game. Okay, he's just gonna destroy everything. We have to. Wait. We actually have to wait for him. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, after a while it gets gets up. Okay. So like I said, it'll, it'll heal you up, and then we'll go ahead and continue. Um, so here's the traits while he's, I guess, loading in. Uh, Viger, Endurance, Shadow Walker, and Teamwork. These are like our... Uh, actually, I'm going to put one point into this. Viger is going to be HP, Endurance, Stamina. Uh, Shadow Walker is probably going to be useless unless you're trying to skip out content because it lets you have less... Like, your enemies will have less awareness. Um, another thing I wanted to mention that I, I learned is you can actually hit your own teammates with uh, range attacks, but with melee, me. you'll be fine. Can we actually climb up this? But yeah, this game is definitely a learning experience because you will... Oh, what the heck? There's enemies hanging from the ceiling? That's crazy, dude! This game is actually so much more fun than the first, like, part one that we uploaded. What the heck? He exploded. Oh, did he pop his ability? Uh, there is an ability where um, you can uh, do, like, fire damage or something. He might have popped it. I don't know. But I'm saving my, all of my abilities for, like, more elite enemies. It's just, I would say, pretty much pointless to pop one like the trash mobs. Oh, gosh. Oh, hi. But I do want to try these enemies, that's for sure. Oh, I didn't see him. Except for, I don't know about the... Okay. If, he, if, if I or if he takes more damage, I'll pop the heal. Because 
Sometimes with the boss engagements, you don't get a chance to heal because they're just too fast. Actually, we can just pop this right now just so I can show you how it works. Okay. Maybe, maybe, oh, you know what? It's almost there. It's just like a, a very small sliver of, um, it on the little white circle that we're missing. This, I, I like playing with this guy because he like goes around and collects every single little piece of iron, which is the, the currency. Oh gosh, I gotta remember to look up. Hopefully we'll encounter some newer enemies here because in the, uh, the other area that I completed where the game crashed, there are enemies that run up to you and they explode for damage. Oh, he just popped the heal. Right, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna reload this first. And this guy doesn't do very much damage. Oh, oh, what the heck is this thing? What? Oh my gosh. This is wild, dude! What was that? <laughs> Alright, let's pop this. Do I have to throw it? Oh, I feel like getting close to this thing is probably a bad idea. Woo! We got, we got a, uh, a crystal. Nice. It's a... Uh, oh, I forgot what it, what it was. It's actually... Uh, so it's a very rare. It's used to craft boss weapons. So I I don't know what a boss weapon is, but I do definitely want one. Uh, if he takes any damage, I will pop the heal. Just so I can put it on cooldown. Without utilizing uh, my dragon's hearts. Okay, let's, let's, let's conserve some of that ammo. Uh, I don't... Okay, that's an explosive. I I never seen one of this before, but uh, like the enemies that run up to you and explode, you can actually time it. Oh, there's a purple. And you you uh, mother's ring. Okay, what is this? Okay, we'll we'll pop it after this. I want to see what this thing does though, but not against like basic enemies. Most of the things are pretty easy to dodge if it's just one, but when there's like a, a huge amount of them. Here, footsteps. Oh, it's behind. Me. Yeah, this game is so much more enjoyable, not only with players, but it makes it like a lot more doable because, um, because the enemies in this game. Oh, okay, let's go ahead and throw this down. I don't know. Do I have to do it like this. Oh, there we go. So that's supposed to attract all the enemies, but maybe it doesn't work on this guy. So this is uh one of the more elite enemies. Like I said, you don't want to actually shoot your own teammate. The best thing to do against these guys is split up. And it looks like he's just taking all the aggro. That thing was supposed to take the aggro that we threw on the ground. This will give me some time to reload. But all you need to do against these guys is once they just rush at you, just move. It's pretty simple. But getting within melee range, oh, very bad idea. Okay, let's go ahead and throw down the heals. But we'll heal up over here. And I think it's okay that I, I'm not using this on like the big boss because the big bosses, uh, well, they do a lot of AOE damage and you can get one-shotted very easily. But so far, I'm really enjoying this game, uh, honestly. Like, the first, like, uh, 30 minutes impressions, the game's completely different. It's not boring walk to this guy, talk to this guy. And I was like, this thing, like, man, if this is the game, like, you get a little bit of action, but then there's so much walking and talking. Um, I just want to play the game, you know? And sometimes you'll actually have to plan some of your moves. Uh, if you're playing solo, if you're playing with someone else, uh, the game's way, 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 way easier. Uh, I'm keeping one trait point just in case I unlock another ability. I'm not sure how those were unlocked. Oh, we also got that Mother's Ring. I need to check that out as well. But look, we didn't even need to pop any of the Dragon's Hearts. Um, I mean, might as well just get free extra ammo here. So we'll go ahead and hit that checkpoint. And then get right back up. And uh, Mother's Ring reduces range damage. 
Okay, oh, I have everything equipped. So this one increases experience. This one increases fire rate by 10% and reload speed by 20. Okay. I feel like the reload speed is pretty fast in this game already, but, uh, hey. I'll let it go faster. This guy's on top of things. Get the headshots. I'm really trying to go for the headshots because, uh, ammo is, I would say, quite scarce in this game. Um, like, once you get the checkpoint, yeah, you can refill, but sometimes you get to, like, the boss. It's more so probably when you're playing solo, honestly, I, where I had that problem running out of ammo. I'm just, like I said, I'm, oh, is that an Okay, saving one trait point, I'm just pretty much slamming everything into HP. Because, well... You die quite fast in this game to the bosses. And I mean, like, you can get one-shotted basically against the bosses. Or e more elite enemies is what I should say, because technically one of them was a boss, one of them... Literally, sometimes a boss can just spawn into the game. Which was kind of unfair. <laughs> like, especially when I was, like, literally, like... One of the first uh, areas that we went to, and that's due to the game having RNG. But that makes it a little bit different, you know, for the, the experience if you play the same level. Taking fire damage and like actually burning, uh, like uh, with the damage over time. I'm actually not positive on that. Also, I removed the cam um, because, well, if I aim down sights, the cam kind of covers the, the character. So I'll probably end up moving the cam to the middle right. Oh, it's another one of these. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I tried to dodge it. I tried to dodge it. But you know what? I didn't lose that much HP that time. All right, let's see if this guy can get distracted by this. He's thrown down the heel. Oh. Let's get out of the way. Wanna go ahead and sit in the AoE heal. Let's move out of the way. Okay, we got him. Woo! We got another one of those like rare things. The Luminite Crystal. Sometimes people will join and leave real fast. Wait, what? Oof. He just left the left the game on me? Oh, that's unfortunate, man. I think I think what happened is his game crashed. Honestly, the game is crashing, and a lot of people uh, have mentioned that as well. Uh, and that is due to... The game's technically not out yet, but, you know, for the people that did spend the money... Uh, to get like that VIP access is kind of unfortunate, but I assume that those things will be patched out later down the line. So I won't complain too much about game crashes. I mean, heck, if you if you remember back with the Master Chief Collection, that game like didn't work forever, and people just sat and toughed through it the whole time. But uh, anyways, we're coming up to the next checkpoint. All right, the Church of the Harbor Harbinger. What is coming up? Oh, it's just this where we get to go ahead and hit another checkpoint over here. Um, it looks like we're just hitting up a boss area. Now, you need like three players to fight the boss. Fighting him solo is one of the worst things you could try to do. Um, I would like for someone else to join, but you know what we can do? We can try to join someone else's game. I'm not sure if we need, uh, like, like for example, let's go ahead and we'll go uh, into the main menu. I'll see if I can join someone else's game because like I said, uh, join public game. Okay, let's, let's let's see this. Um, I'm curious to see if it puts us wherever they are in the game or wherever we are, um, like as the maximum distance. If that makes sense. As in, like, if I've only completed, let's say, level five, I can't join someone that's past level five. But maybe I can join them when they're under, like, level five in the in the story. If that makes sense, or part five, or I guess act whatever uh in the storyline because that would kind of be strange if you were just joining someone and they're at the very very end of the game right oh okay this is whoa this is crazy 
Dude, this guy has five dragon hearts. These guys are way ahead of me. But again... Okay, so he's gonna go for the res. Maybe this is the, the area where I go to? I, it's possible, but I... I want to say probably not likely. But at least you guys can see uh, later content in the game. Looks like he's trying to go for the res. So when you res someone, it does cost you one of the hearts. I'm also wondering... Let's uh, just sit back and watch. <laughs> but uh, I'm also wondering, if they complete it, do I get the rewards? So it looks like there's these uh, skulls that home in and then explode on you? Yep, that's exactly what they do. Oh, and now he's in poison water? Maybe it's his first time playing level. There are some levels where you just have to learn the mechanics. Looks like he's going for another res. They can't res him, maybe? In that area? Can I, like, um... Spectate the next guy? Let's watch this guy. Maybe he can't res him because he's continuously taking that, like, poison damage or something. By the way, when you're knocked in this game, you can't actually, uh... You can't move. So they might have to do a reset on this one. This does not look like an easy level. There's just constant barrage of range things. Pop and heal. Is he doing it? Did he just do it? He's like shooting once and then rolling immediately to dodge. Ah, oh, unlucky dude. Alright, let, let's attempt this one. I'm pretty sure we are way under leveled for this, but we'll see how it goes. Um, like I said, I'm not sure how far they are into the game, but I don't think it really matters too much. So what happens is usually you'll fight some enemies and then there'll be like a boss at the very end. That's pretty cool. All right, we ready? I don't know why that guy's waiting. We gotta go all in at the same time. Also, this doesn't have that much HP, but I'm sure it gets harder and harder. And ammo is quite scarce sometimes. Okay, so he's going in there and then it becomes like a... Ooh. I don't know how far this is in the game though, but I'm still like one-shotting the, the trash mod, so maybe it's still like early-ish mid? But I, again, he has like m almost double the amount of things that I have in terms of like the heals. So I'm guessing every time you get like a quarter of the HP down, it has a different phase. 240! A good crit hit. Okay. I was getting ready to dodge, but I also have to watch out for the acid pools on the bottom. <laughs> the game becomes so much easier with friends, though. Like, so far, just players. Ooh. And I am burning. And he's popping a heal. I have heals. I can, I can heal. I'm going to go and pop that heal for us. I don't have ammo. I'm gonna res him, but oh, I, I can't res him. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go out and distract. What the heck? I can't res him. Maybe he can't res him either. Oh, watch out for that radiation. All right, that's another condition. I want to try. Is he resing him? 
got some radiation just went away. Maybe he's getting interrupted. I should go around. Oh, that's not what I, I didn't want to melee. Okay. Can you not- maybe- maybe on this boss fight you can't res. I'm really trying to get this res off. Okay, there we go. We got the res off. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up. Okay, we got- we got him up. That's the most important thing. I only have one more heal though, because it costs a heal to res someone. I should use my pistol's ability. I'll do it in the next time he comes back up. I'm wondering what happens if you run out of ammo against this boss fight because... What can you do? Like, I don't think you can melee the enemies here. But the boss is almost dead. Oh! Almost jumped right into the acid over there. Let's go ahead and go around. Maybe if I crouch, I get the better accuracy. Okay, let's just, actually, we'll do this on the last one. Okay, he's on his last bar. Oh, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna shoot this thing down over there. And that thing should, uh... Should help out. I need ammo. I need ammo. Okay. Yeah, okay, we need more ammo. Wait, can some of the items drop in the acid? That's so unlucky. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, he took the ammo. So, like, we don't share ammo? Oh my gosh. It took away, like, half my HP, but I'm probably not supposed to be at this area yet. I want to try to focus in on the, the, the big boss. Where is that? Oh, okay, here it is. I feel like it's gonna do something. Okay. It's so low on HP. I actually like that. I think it's just iron down there. Uh, the red uh, drops are the HP. So we we got him, dude. We killed him. Let's check out that loot. We get extra XP. Awesome. And a trait point. Wonder if it's gonna keep on giving us like more trait points because this is like a. Uh, an area that we weren't supposed to be at yet. But let's go ahead and exit the area. So like I said, it's pretty much, you, you fight like a, a small section in, in the game and then you fight a boss and then you go back to town. You, you can either uh, you know, buy equipment, like I showed you guys in the very beginning. Um, the boss was not too bad, honestly. Um, there was a boss that I fought earlier. In fact, the, I don't know if you fight the bosses in the exact same order. Or if it, each area is its own instance, because like there were times, ooh, look at this area. Wow, all right. That's pretty cool. All right, let's check out this area a little bit. Oh, we're gonna hit the checkpoint. But I'm just I'm just gonna look at the area. Cause I feel like this is a good like conclusion to like this part. I'm not gonna make them super, uh, super long, but I just wanna like check it out. Wow, this will be really cool. But I guess we'll have to check out the next area on the next exciting episode of Ramping Up From The Ashes. But I hope you guys are enjoying this game. Uh, like I said, the, the part one compared to the part two that I'm uploading, part two is so much better. There's just a lot more action, a lot more stuff going on. But um, anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and re return to the ward over here. Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can leave the party because I don't want them to have to go back. I should have probably left the party uh, because it might force them all to go back. <laughs> Which, if, if that's the case, my bad. My bad, guys. Uh, I'll just leave the party so then they're like, okay. Yeah, I think I think if one person goes back, let me go ahead and go to the... What is that, my character? I think I have to go to exit to main menu. Or maybe that button over there. Um, but uh, anyways, yeah. Um, let me know, guys, what you thought of like the gameplay in part two. I think it's really fun with people. Uh, if you're playing solo... Uh, maybe you can sneak around a little bit more, but as far as like the sneak trait, I felt like it was kind of, um, not useful. <laughs> uh, obviously during a boss encounter, <laughs> you're probably not going to be able to sneak past the boss, but you might be able to kind of play this game like a stealth game, maybe? Um, I haven't really tried, uh, to be honest. Maybe my stealth rank needs to go up. I'm just going to go ahead and, 
Um, can I just put five real quick? Offline. Because uh, I wanted to explain the traits, because I don't think I moused over the uh, stealth one for very long, but I did want to basically explain it and showcase off some of the other um, status elements. So, okay, here we go. So, um, Shadow Walker makes the enemy awareness, like, worse. Um, I've been pretty much slamming all my points into Viger and Endurance. Uh, I put a couple points into it just for extra rolls, basically. I feel like those are probably the, mo the more important ones, but we might get more traits. I mean, there's uh, three extra ones. Maybe we'll get these as we level up. Um, pretty much just always keeping one point available just in case something really cool comes out. I, mean, I have to put in like a skill point into it in order for like that passive or whatever to be active. But um, there was another um, mod that you guys didn't get to see, which is the Hunter's Mark, which is the one that we started uh, out with. And what that does is it lets you basically see through walls and for 60 seconds, your critical hit chance against mark enemies is increased. Um, and then as far as our armor, I, I showed you guys uh, the upgrade system. Um, so this is something that we just picked up by just killing enemies. Um, and you can get other weapons uh, by purchasing them but, uh, oh, wow, I didn't know that there was an ammo box that we had. I feel like, like I said, ammo is pretty scarce in this game uh, when you're playing solo, but when you're playing with a group, feel free to just go ahead and spam it. Uh, maybe, uh, up until maybe the boss, the boss, maybe try to focus in on shooting the boss, because there was a few different times where um, I got pretty close to running out of ammo on the boss fights, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the second part of our uh, gameplay. Like I said, I, I felt like the, the walking around, there was still technically some talking while walking around, but I... I just felt like this was a much better part too, <laughs> especially since we got to join the game and like fight that boss. That was pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the game now that you've seen part two. It's, like I said, it's so much different. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys want to check me out, I'll probably be live streaming this game like once in a while um, before it's released. And I'm curious to see what they do when the game actually launches. If they uh, plan to uh, fix, especially the bugs where you're randomly kicked out of the game, which really sucks because like sometimes you'll be right in the middle of something. And like you zone into the boss, and that's what happened. Uh, my game, my game just crashed right after, right, literally right after the boss, the game crashed. And I was like, "Are you serious?" <laughs> Ripped the recording because I, I was confused on what to, to do because I had to like reload back in. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and let me know your thoughts on the game. Peace.